think we've got about 120k to do. Our destination was this Ramabanta, um, which I believe is up in the mountains, pretty remote, very beautiful. So I had a couple of hours out yesterday uh, just to get used to the bike and uh, loved it. Can't wait to get out this morning. Well, uh, we've just drove into the middle of nowhere to the clinic uh, where they've been queuing here about three or four hours to meet Shalaba, who's just put up the, uh, the scales uh, to wear the babies. Uh, when you think when you be a father yourself and you come here and we have uh, the luxury of a doctor's surgery and they come here and, and they get hung from here to, uh, to get weighed. Quite amazing, really. The positive thing is that there is a system here. You know, it, it is pretty basic, but there is a system in place, and, and that system can only work with the transport. <laughs> it's uh, really humbling. You wonder how many of those children have been cross infected and what the transmission rates are. And they're going to do spot testing in there now and it just, oh, I don't know, it just feels... It just feels really sad that... But you can't, but somehow this is, this is their only opportunity to come here. These people have got infection and um, they need they need help education training all of these things to um, to hopefully not leave those children without their mums it, it's really it's really hard to hard to get into my head then I'm going to break and take the blood mm -hmm. and then put it to the strip She's been working since since sunrise, and then she's been walking for hours to bring her baby here. Baby had quite a high temperature, just to know what the mother's like going through. You know, she's such a proud, proud woman, and you could see that there's, you know, the kind of the fear in her eyes. You know, the what what might happen to her baby. But I, I told her that I was so proud of her just for walking all this way to get here. You know. We've covered about 110 k's on the bike today. I think we're all pretty exhausted. It's uh, not just physical, but mentally you have to stay on the ball. When mistaken, you can be in a lot of trouble. So it's been a real insight into riding bikes out here. But now for all of us, it's a good night's sleep and uh, another fantastic day tomorrow, hopefully. Not the worst view.